How's that? I was giving the thumbs up, but I think with everybody talking, it was loud. So again, just welcome. We're, we're glad you're here. Uh, this is a great day for us, and I won't uh, spoil the thunder of the announcements that are going to be made uh, just shortly after my remarks end. Uh, but we want to welcome you. Uh, thank you for coming to Prattville. Uh, if you're from out of town, and certainly our local folks as well. We do have some elected officials with us here today, and I just want to briefly um, thank them for coming. And, and hopefully, I won't uh, omit anyone. But uh, the mayor of Prattville, Bill Gillespie, is here. Mayor. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, Prattville City Councilmen. Albert Strickland, District 1, is, is here. Councilman Strickland. Right there. I know Mike Reniger, uh, Council President, District 5, was here earlier. I believe had to leave for another engagement, but I um, certainly thank Mike for coming. Uh, members of the Ottawa County Commission, I know Chairman Danny Chambers is here. Danny. Commissioner Carter, A.G. Carter is there. As well as Commissioner Carl Johnson. Our Revenue Commissioner, uh, T.T. Ray is here. T. T. Ray. And I know the mayor of our neighboring city in Otago is here, Mayor Ward. Obviously, this is a, a great day for us. It's an exciting time for us with the announcement that you're about to hear, and thank you all for joining us. Um, obviously, successful ventures, successful announcements are built on partnerships, and I think that's what our city, our community, our citizens have here uh, with this company, with Brosley. But to make this event that you're going to hear about uh, shortly possible, there are a lot of partnerships that were forged, that were made, that were built, that were continued, and that were sustained. Uh, first of all, we just want to say thanks on behalf of the City of Prattville and the Mayor, the City Council, all of the department heads, and the uh, countless numbers of city employees that go to work every day to help make this community a better place to live, to help partner with our community businesses. We thank them. Same thing for the for Otago County, uh, for the Commission. I know Steve Golson is the County Administrator. Uh, for the staff of the county, we thank them for their diligent efforts that they do to make this place a better place to live. Um, obviously, uh, when it pertains to business and industry, our uh, Prattville Industrial Development Board, many of the members are here. Uh, the chairman of that is Richard Williams. I see several other members of that uh, body that's uh, appointed to represent the city of Prattville. Um, obviously, when an announcement like this comes forward, we thank the members of the Industrial Development Board that make that possible. Certainly, the state of Alabama, there are so many departments that uh, partner with us, that come together. Um, ADECA, I know the director of ADECA, Jim Beyer, our former mayor, is here. Uh, you'll hear from, here, hear from him shortly, as well as I know the Alabama Development Office, Gary Faulkner. Um, for those of you that are unfamiliar with that process, um, project managers cover the state and work projects on behalf of our local communities in partnership with the state, and Gary was our uh, point man for this project. I know Gary's here with us, and we thank him on behalf of the direct, uh, director, Greg Hanfield. So thank you, Gary. Um, AIDT, Alabama Industrial Development Training, certainly for the uh, what they bring to the table to make sure we've got the best, uh, most trained, highly qualified workforce, and also the Department of Revenue uh, that assist us in making these projects happen. Uh, certainly Power South and Central Alabama Electric Cooperative, uh, the local team, um, we can't sing their praises high enough. Obviously they serve this facility, but their team of professionals, their economic development folks, uh, on down to engineering, finance, you name it, are always at the table, always a, a huge partner with us. And, and certainly I know many of them are here today uh, and we thank them for, for their efforts. And last but not least, um, also our chamber board and our chamber staff under the direction of our chairman, Clay McConnell, uh, we certainly thank you. Uh, we go to work every day to represent our business community and uh, on behalf of the business community, we say thanks and welcome uh, to this expanding business. So without further ado, I would like to ask Gary McCoy, uh, Gary is the Public Relations Director for the Marks Group, uh, to come forward and have some remarks. Gary. Good morning. Uh, on behalf of the Marks Group, uh, we do all the marketing public relations for Frosley, and we want to uh, extend our greetings. Thanks for coming out to hear our announcement. Uh, you know, I'm not used to seeing all these politicians out of jail because I'm from Illinois. <laughs> you know, and uh, I like to say our governors, when they leave office, you know, most people, you know, our governors, they make license plates for our state. You know? So anyway, good to be with you. 
Um, we do have an uh, exciting announcement that I want to make, but uh, I just want to introduce Omar <coughs> Oliveira. He's right here. Omar, stand up. Omar is the Director of Operations and Corporate Secretary for uh, Frosley North America. He's located in uh, the Detroit area, uh, but I know he's here uh, on a regular basis. A lot of you people have met Omar. I know he was here in 2008 when uh, they announced that the plant was uh, being purchased by Crosley. Uh, but Zomar has been with the Randon organization since 2004 and has over 35 years of experience in the automotive market. Um, who you're going to hear from in a minute here, we're just so happy to have uh, Daniel Randon. Daniel, stand up. He'll be here in a second. But Daniel is the CEO of the company and director of investor relations. and. Uh, He's been with the organization for 16 years, and um, we just met this week, but uh, I enjoyed getting to know him. We had an announcement we made uh, that Daniel will tell you more about in a second out at the uh, truck show in Las Vegas. But Daniel, come on up, and uh, we want to welcome you, and thanks for coming to be with us. For Frasley, it's a great pleasure to be here to do the second announcement. We start in Alabama in 2008. We bought this facility from Haldex at that time. Even though we passed through a very tough uh, economic crisis during the last, since 2008, we can say that, Frasley just keep working as it had planned in 2008 as a big strategic plan, thinking how Frasi can be a global supplier worldwide. And this project started with uh, our acquisition in Alabama. At the same time, at the end of that year, we started our production in China. And also, we put more efforts in, in Europe at the end of 2008. The United States, for us, is a very important uh, market. Frasi, we do export a lot of products, and one of main markets is North American market and in Prattville we have been always been very pleasure to all the efforts so the local government has has helped us in this project so in, today we announce a new investment that we are doing the plant in Alabama we do believe that it's a win-win situation not only for Frasley but also for all the communities of Prattville and also the community of Alabama <laughs> And uh, we already have today almost 44 jobs. In the next quarter, we'll be adding at least 13 jobs with the new investment of, uh, of highway brake pass. And the big announcement we do expect at the end of the year, and uh, in 2013, to add in 100 new jobs for the, this plant. So we're going to be investing approximately 11 million dollars in, in Prattville. So it's investment that comes from the local community uh, in new equipment that's been purchased and started to expand this facility in Prattville. For us, it's a historic announcement. It's the first time that we're going to start producing heavy-duty block lining. This is the, the block we just have here to show. Uh, what's the product? It's not a beautiful product, <laughs> but it works and it's safe. You know, that's the important thing. It goes inside the drum brake, so that's an important product. Just to have an idea, Frazi, the biggest world manufacturer of block, uh, we produce uh, around the capacity in Brazil more than 60 to 65 million blocks, and adding this capacity in Alabama plus in China. We're going to be reaching next year 75 million blocks of capacity. Uh, so it's, 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 it's our strategy to keep leading this, this scenario in the world to being the biggest block manufacturer in the world. And Alabama will be helping Frasi to achieve this strategy. The announcement, as Gary said last, uh, this week in Las Vegas, uh, 
during the heavy duty aftermarket, uh, that's the leading industry trade show for the commercial vehicle, was very important to Frasley and especially for the customers. I mean, we announced not, not only the, the investment of Alabama plan, that's very important for us, but also a renew of a commercial agreement with Meritor, that's our big client in the United States, who's a partner from Frasley the last 15 years. And not only from Frasley, I mean, uh, Meritor is a partner of random companies, random companies that own Frasley, it's a group of approximately uh, four, uh, $3 billion uh, gross revenue. Our net revenue, uh, and, uh, and, and, and Merito has been as a partner of random companies for the last 25 years, with two joint ventures in Brazil, and the last 15 years with a commercial agreement with uh, Frasley and Merito in the United States. So for us, it was a very important announcement, because Merito is not only our, our big partner in, in North America, but we also have a commercial uh, efforts and agreement in Mexico, in Europe, and around the world also in China, China and Asia market. So for us it was a very important week and uh, the news, especially the news for the investment of Alabama, everybody got very well, very surprised. As we see many of uh, many companies <coughs> have decided to, to invest in manufacturing outside the United States. And for us, we are compromised with the uh, United States of the market. We want to be next to our customer, close to our customer, improving our relationship to our customer. And to be successful in this relationship, we must be here. And we understand and we appreciate all the local support that we have to achieve this challenge. There are many people uh, in Pratt who I want to thank. I cannot thank everybody here now, but uh, would you like to mention some of them? Bill Gillespie. Sorry, Bill that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Bill, uh, Mayor Pratico, uh, without your support and your team, we cannot be investing in, in Alabama facility, and we do appreciate all the efforts. <coughs> also, I'd like to say thank you to Richard Williams, the, the chairman of Pratico Industry Development Board, and each member of the board that also is present here and is not present also. And uh, Jeremy Arthur, the president of the Pratt Bill Chamber of Commerce, thank you very much, we appreciate it. And I cannot forget Jim Byer, that was our former mayor here in Prattville. And uh, it was very important for us to decide in the first moment decision to, to come to Alabama. Prattville was a very tough decision, I mean, because we were smart with that time, 2008 crisis, world economic crisis. We know that was, we could pass a very difficult years since 2008, but uh, we understand that since then we have all the support from the local government, and Jim Byer did a very good support, good successful job to convince Friday that we should invest in Alabama, and that's why we are here, thank you to the support of the local government, and I'm sure that this partnership has been so successful, and we keep so successful in the next five, ten years. Once more, just uh, to know that uh, Frasli uh, is, uh, is the global supplier. We export worldwide to more than 80 countries. And we do appreciate all the involvement of the local community. And in our understand, in Brazil, worldwide, we always work to give all the support to attend our stakeholders. So it's not only important the shareholders that invest in the company, but also it's important our employees that give all the support to the company and thank you to that. To the, our employees, they work as hard as they can, they give all they can to the company and we do appreciate all the efforts that this company has been doing uh, in, in, the last, uh, in the last three, four years. Thank you to Zomar and his team here, all the leader guys, and appreciate all the, all the employees and we do appreciate it. That's the biggest capital that we have here. Alabama. Also, the suppliers are very important. Uh, the clients that keep our company working, and also, and especially the community that we do believe that it's very important to have all the support of the community, and it's a win-win situation as we are doing. Today. So, thank you once more for all the support that I have from the local community, and I'm sure that uh, we'll be successful in this new project, and we'll keep growing in the United States. That's uh, as I said before we were talking, that uh, we do believe that the United States is a stable economy 
and uh, we understand that local and the, also the federal government has done all the efforts in the last years to increase the manufacturing in the United States or come back many jobs that in the past I think we lost for, for other countries. And we do expect to be part of this success, successful country that is the United States. Thank you very much for this time and we appreciate all your presence here. Thank you. to answer any questions uh, for the media. Do you have any for Daniel? How many employees do you have now? Sorry? How many employees do you have now? Today's 44 employees. Any idea what the average pay will be uh, for the people coming on? I don't have any. Uh, when I'm in the average of the market, I'm not exactly know if there are many. Very Sorry, I don't no. have this. So the, the employees 44, and we're going to add uh, 300 more employees in the last until next year. But he asked about the average, right? I think uh, one more thing I want to add about the arm. Yeah. Uh, the off of, high, off of highway pads, I mean, we have this manufacturing in Brazil. In the past, we bought this manufacturing from the uh, United States was how many years ago? Uh, it was 2000, 2001. Yeah, we can't give the right information. So we bought this manufacturing facility from the United States to Brazil, and the idea now is just starting to bring, bring it back to yeah. produce the uh, United States in, in our Alabama plant. We start with uh, uh, 13 employees and we may add more people and more capacity in the next two or three years. That's the transfer will be in three phases. Our first phase is that yeah. there's going to be more coming towards 2013 and 2014. So, so we hope uh, as soon as possible we have new announcements. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> step by step. Yeah. Okay. No other questions? Thank you. Jeremy? Thank you. Daniel, thank you for that announcement. It's certainly exciting news for our community on behalf of, of Frosley. And we do have a couple of presentations we'd like. At this time, I'd ask Jim Byer uh, to come forward. Jim's the director of the Alabama Department of Economic and Community Affairs. He's got a presentation on behalf of the state of Alabama. Thanks, Jeremy. Good morning. I don't know about y'all, but Daniel said that wasn't beautiful. But for 44 families in Prattville and Otago County and for 100 additional families, that's pretty beautiful. <laughs> I certainly know it is for those families. On behalf of Governor Robert Bentley, I'm so pleased to be in uh, here in Crosley and Otago County and in Prattville, and I get to represent the state. And I want to tell you, uh, Senator Taylor came in back there, and he knows, and these local officials know, that Randon or Crosley would not be possible without a partnership. And it's a partnership with the Industrial Development Board, a partnership with our county, a partnership with the city, and a partnership with the state. Uh, I was pleased to get the assignment to come here and represent Governor Bentley because I was the mayor when Frosley came and they brought wine. And let me tell you, if you've not had any Randon wine, their family owns a winery in Brazil. And, and if they... If they, it, it, yeah, and cheese, cheese. that's right. <laughs> but, uh, if you haven't had any Randon wine, you need to hit somebody up for a bottle of Merlot or a little sip of Merlot. It's pretty good. I don't know why that does in the ethics, ethics law of the state official senator, but maybe we get a sip. Uh, anyway, in all seriousness, on behalf of the governor, I am pleased to be here. You know, Alabama's announcing jobs every day, and we do that in Alabama because, really, several reasons. We're a right-to-work state. We're advantageous for businesses to work here. We have low taxes, low energy, Taylor and, and the folks back there from Central Alabama, low energy costs for these, for these companies. But the main reason is our people and the people that are, that are wearing these red Frosley shirts. The governor was over in Stuttgart, Germany several months ago, and he's talking to an official with Mercedes discussing the Mercedes plant up the road in Vance. And he asked the, the the guy at Mercedes, he said, you know, what's your absenteeism rate here at a typical plant here in Germany? And the gentleman said, seven to eight percent. 
<clears throat> we'll compare that to Alabama. Less than 1% absenteeism rate. Our people, the workers in Alabama, are the reason that companies are expanding here. And Daniel, Mr. Randon, excuse me, we're pleased to have you in Otago County. We're pleased to have you in Prattville. And on behalf of Governor Robert Bentley and all of the state agencies, I'd like to present you this great seal plaque of the state of Alabama. Hope you will hang it here or in Brazil and think of us fondly when it's time for those expansions. I'd like to ask Mayor Bill Gillespie to come forward, uh, the Mayor of the City of Prattville, for a special presentation. Well, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> there again, I know the benefits of the brake pads, and, and I agree it might not look that much, you know, it might not be that pretty, but can you imagine if it didn't work? And I have done my <laughs> research, and, and this is one of the better products out there on the market, uh, and I do appreciate everything that you guys have done for this area. Um, you have brought truly a uh, American dream uh, back to life here because without all these additional jobs that you're bringing in, in here, we would not have that ability for, these, um, for the local economy, for the local citizens to be able to move forward with that American dream. But uh, thank you for everything that you have brought to this community. I know that <clears throat> you have shown some confidence in us. Uh, and as uh, Jim Byer mentioned also, I think one of the things that really makes us who we are are our people. I've said this in some other meetings and so forth. It's not, we really don't have all the buildings that, that a lot of other areas have. I truly believe that it's the people that make us different. You have uh, helped us extend that along with this additional 100 jobs. So thank you. And at this time, I also have a gift for you. It's an Afghan, and uh, it's a representation of Otago County, uh, Prattville, and this surrounding area. So uh, hopefully you can either stay warm with it yeah, we're going to hang it on your wall. There in closing, though, if there's ever anything that uh, the city of Pratt or myself can do, please do not hesitate to call. We're, we're here. And I'm also going to go ahead and uh, uh, make the announcement that any great products the city of Pratt can uh, be purchasing from the Frosley Group, we will be here for a minute. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I uh, just want to thank you again for coming out today. And uh, if you have any questions, more information you'd like to know about Frosley, I'd be happy to answer that for you either today or uh, down the road. But uh, we're just excited to, uh, uh, to make this uh, big announcement today. And we have a meal that we're going to serve here in a minute, but also if you want a little tour of the plant, uh, we've got that available as well. Uh, we can't let photography in there, I just want to let the media folks know, uh, but they're happy to come along if you want to look, we just can't take a picture, okay? But uh, thank you again and uh, enjoy. Appreciate it.